Well, it's rewarding because oftentimes, <clears throat> one of the things that I say to my artists, uh, the clients that I'm working with, uh, almost always is that just because you're a great musician or a great songwriter, guitar player, <clears throat> any of those things, just because you're a great musician doesn't make you necessarily a great performer. Um, like I said earlier, it's, it, they're completely different animals. And so you can have great music and take it onto a stage in front of people and bomb. And I've seen that time and time and time again. So uh, when I was doing this thing, when I was out there touring and singing, we weren't a great band, but we were known as a great live band because we spent so much uh, of our time investing in the development of our live show, connecting with our audience. And oftentimes what I see is I see fantastic gifted artists go out there and absolutely lose their audience because of the little things, how to communicate, what to say and when to say it, where should I be moving, uh, should I tell a story about this song, and, you know, should my story be two minutes long or should it be 14 minutes long, and, and uh, some of the most common mistakes are made by most artists, and so uh, oftentimes it's a matter of me coming in and, and really teaching the basics of live performance. The, the rewarding part of that is actually seeing the artist uh, pick up on those things and go, ah, never thought of that. And then all of a sudden they start practicing that on the stage. And the response from the audience is really the rewarding part.